What's up? My name is Charles. I'm going to show you how to make portobello mushroom wraps. So the first thing I do whenever I start cooking is I get all my ingredients ready. This is called mise en place. Mise en place means everything in place. And that's what we have here. Uh, I also have some sesame seeds. This will give us some nice crunch. I have some sesame seed oil. We're only going to need a little bit of that. Some soy sauce. Some sweet mirin cooking wine. And some granulated garlic. So when it comes to preparing my vegetables, this is quite easy. Uh, this is a portobello mushroom. I look for portobello mushrooms that are big. They don't have a lot of torn edges. And we don't really need this stem, so we're just going to take that off. You can use the stem for pastas and things like that, but it's not very good for the shape of our dish. This is yellow squash or yellow zucchini. Um, I'm going to want to use some pretty long, thinner strips for our wrap. And that's basically what I have made here. This will definitely be enough for one wrap. I'll do the same with my zucchini. Just cut in half. It's easier to cut when you have a flat surface. So if I cut in half, it's easier to work with this zucchini so it's not rolling everywhere. They don't have to be perfect, so don't worry about that. Different textures are definitely a great thing. Uh, some carrot. This is a rainbow carrot. Just going to shave it off. See how I'm rolling it as I shave this carrot away. can actually use this whole part as well. And lastly, my mushroom, which we will just cut into strips. This is going to cook down a lot, so don't worry if it is too thick. And now, with all of our ingredients ready, we are going to start cooking. The timing which we cook vegetables is always important. Mushrooms are going to go first. They have a lot of water in them and they will just devour this oil. So don't worry if you use too much oil, you might need to add more. Uh, we're going to start with a hot pan. So when that mushroom starts sizzling, we'll add in the rest. Okay, so this first mushroom has started sizzling. I'm going to add in the rest. You can just throw them in, but I'm not in a hurry, so I'll just drop them in like this. Placing them flat. I want them to be crispy. So I use a high heat and we're going to add salt to remove moisture. Okay. When these are done, I'm going to add my squash. They're a little bit thicker and these carrots will cook very quickly. Okay, so over here my mushrooms are looking great. I flipped them a few times, I flipped them twice. And at this point I'm going to add my zucchini and yellow squash. That's going to help them cook. Uh, that's gonna stop the mushrooms from cooking. 
because there's a lot of new water that we just put into that pan. Just tossing the pan around a little bit. We're gonna let these get some color and then we are going to add our carrots. Okay, so at this point I just kind of turn them around in the pan a little bit. And I'm starting to get some really nice color in there. Uh, we don't need a ton of color, but some things like that look really nice. Uh, at this point, I'm going to add my carrots, some soy sauce, maybe turn the heat down a little bit. We're going to add some of this mirin rice wine. Flash of that. Some garlic powder. Granulated garlic. Give that a toss in the pan. There we go, now we're starting to get some really beautiful color. Now I don't want these veggies to overcook, so I'm just gonna actually turn the pan off while they finish cooking. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of sesame oil. This goes a long way. Just like a few drops. And I'm also going to add some sesame seeds. These are full of protein. And they'll give us a, such a nice crunch. I'm happy with them being cooked just like this. Kind of get a good mix and everything of everything in there. Yeah, there we go. When it comes to wraps, I like to use these colored wraps. You can get them. I got these at Safeway. You can get them at any store. And basically, this one is spinach flavored, it has spinach in it, and this is a sun-dried tomato. And I think they have a really nice color, and they also have a pretty good flavor too. Okay, let's talk about wraps. So basically, you want to lightly toast the wraps, the tortillas. They just become more pliable, and they don't need very long. If you have an open flame, this is great. If you don't have an open flame, just use a pan with almost no oil. You can use a tiny tablespoon. This is ready. When they start to get a little bit of char on them, they're definitely ready. And you wanna use these pretty much right away. So we do this right before we make our wraps. Okay, now that we have our wraps, we have our veggies, let's talk about how to wrap these things. Now, one of the most important things is that we cooked a lot of water out of here. So by cooking the water out, it's gonna make this a lot easier to wrap. And you don't wanna get any extra water in this wrap right now. So, I'm actually just getting a nice mix of all the veggies in there. And I'm gonna just kinda air on the side of almost not enough. I would rather make two wraps, two small wraps. But if you want, as you learn, you can experiment. I'll show you how I did that again. See, this one got a lot of char on it, but it's okay. So I just get a good mix of everything in there. Then I kind of bring this back and I fold everything in. You can just kind of fold the edges in and then, oh, mother. Okay, so my first wrap broke. Um, that happens sometimes. 
I think I heated it up too much. So to wrap these, basically, we're just going to fold it over and you pull it in to make the shape that you want. Then you can fold the edges in. Some people do it like this first. Doesn't really matter. And I kind of tuck the top in because I find that that really makes it stay together. Um, then I like to leave it with this side down because kind of the steam and the liquid will help it all stay together. Now we're just going to prepare a quick sauce. Okay, for the sauce, when I peel ginger, I use a spoon. I find that that easily goes around all the weird shapes that ginger can make. If you want to get a lot of juice out of your lime, roll it. Put some weight on it and roll it. That'll really give you a lot of extra juice. Okay, so over here in the same pan that I cooked our vegetables, I'm just going to add my lime juice. This will start to reduce and it will also kind of loosen a lot of these particles that have a lot of flavor, these toasted sesame seeds and some of that delicious soy sauce. I'm actually just gonna rub this around, kind of use this as like a towel. That's gonna give you a lot of flavor for sure. Uh, then I'm going to grate my ginger. Uh, I'm just gonna use this super fine one and it'll give you kind of like a liquid. If you want to do this right over the pan, that's fine. Once I bring that lime juice to a boil, I'm just going to turn it off. Okay, so usually when the ginger, when you grate the ginger, you have to scrape it from the inside. You can see it gets super fine. And that will probably be enough to give our hoisin sauce a ton of flavor. Okay, next we're just gonna add our hoisin sauce. Just by heating this up, it will become a lot lighter in texture, but adding the lime juice will certainly help as well. Um, if you want to, you can also add some orange juice. That will definitely, uh, that will definitely lighten it up into more of a dipping sauce and also add a ton of flavor. But basically I'm looking for something that I can dip my wraps into. And we do kind of want to bring this to a little bit of a boil. Hoisin sauce is really great on its own, but by adding these few simple ingredients, we've really elevated it into something fantastic. Mushroom wraps with gingered hoisin sauce. 